and Johnny Quest here and I'm here in the Tongue River I'm gonna be fishing some of the areas of the Tongue River wow this would be cool because I could literally bring my yak down here if I wanted to but I'm not <laughs> I'm on my way further up to Montana I'm still in the Wyoming side but I want to try a little bit of fishing on this lower end here I wanted to try and see if there's any smallmouth here I know there is further up in Montana because I've been told by several people. But I want to try this spot here. And I can see there's fish in the water already because they're eating those flies. And I don't know. Let's see if there's something here. And uh, I'll just uh, take a short clip of whatever I catch. This is just testing out and right here in the Tongue River. Johnny Quest. Come on, baby. I know you're in there. I think I'm going to have to throw further that way into that shadow because I see something eating over there. I could be wrong. I know earlier there was a really big one that grabbed me because that was an immense hit right here in front of me here. So I'm going to toss way across there and see if he's over there because I'm thinking that's where he went. Right out there. Let's see what happens. Tighten up. I'm watching the line because uh, smallmouth are sneaky. God, got you. I got him. There he comes. I got him good. <laughs> I knew he was going to be over there. Come on. There he comes. Come on. I knew you were going to be. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running for the shoreline. Come on. Don't run for that shoreline. Come on out here. Oh, he's nice and big. Oh yeah, he's nice. Nice and big, come on. Come here. Come on over. Come on over to Johnny. And this time I'm not gonna pull you. No sirree, I am going to net you like I'm supposed to. And there you go, buddy. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that, baby. Look at that, baby, come here. Come here, you look at that guy. Woo hoo! <laughs> On a Ned rig, folks. Oh God, I can't even take the hook out. Hold up, I got the, I got the tweezers right here for that. I got the tweezers right here. Sorry, right, buddy. That's all right. I'm gonna take this guy out of you. Ah. Woo! Look at that guy. Huh? a nice little three pounder right there that's a nice little three pounder oh yeah he was over there eating yeah baby yeah baby I'm gonna take a picture with him it's actually in a little cut video come on there come on come on come on ah oh, god really And let's go take a little video with the fish. Okay. Johnny Quest. Nice three pound smallie right here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Nobody believes me. Man, this is the second one. The first one broke off. Had to do this. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture so Susie Quest can see what I got. Yes. Say cheese. Three pound smolly. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, baby, I caught one here. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I held by the head. I need to get closer to that shadow that's across from me there. Oh, look, look. 
Oh, got him. Right here in front of me. He went right for it. Look, he swam right to it, man. That was crazy. He literally swam. It's a little tiny guy. Swam all the way over there and grabbed it. So there's small ones and big ones in here, folks. There it is. And Johnny Quest, and uh, today I'm gonna go see if I can hit on some smallies. I don't know if it'll go through, but hey, hey, hey. more fishing! Bass fishing, Johnny Quest. And, uh, man, I never walked anything like this before. Shoot, it looks kind of like uh, dangerous, doesn't it? I don't know, I'm hoping not. I'm kind of looking around and uh, making sure I don't step on anything weird. And uh, looks like that's a little embankment down there. I don't know if I could get down there though. So I'm walking over here by the bridge. Bridges usually have little places you can walk down. And in a way, I'm kind of barefooted. <laughs> uh, not really, but kind of. Because I don't have any boots on. I have shorts on. It's hot outside. And I'm kind of doing something that I learned when I was in Florida and uh, and that's to wave a, a stick in front of you while you're walking and usually that'll help to uh, um, to frighten any possible reptiles hello oh, let me hold my bag with my other hand sorry about that folks with the video I didn't bring my uh, camera so I'm kind of filming with my phone here as I'm walking towards a possible area that I can fish in. So I'm kind of, like I said, oh, that doesn't look too, too bad once you get over here. Uh, wow. Yeah, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down there and I don't know, uh, I think there might be smallies down there, but I don't really know. I see footprints, so people have come here to fish and uh gee i don't know i'm gonna try it i think there should be small mouth in there somewhere uh, i might be able to walk in the water i do have my crocs on so anyway hopefully i'll be able to show you some fish johnny quest on the move i was able to sneak over here jumping from rock to rock because that's a mush right there of mud and i jumped from rock to rock to rock all the way here i was able to do that and uh, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a shot and fish over here and cast on the edges there. I can't really, I wanna walk on the water here a little bit if I could walk that way, but I don't see any shoreline to walk in that way. You guys see that? There's no real, wow. Now it says that there's water access further that way in that direction, there's a trail. I might go and grab the trail in a little bit. I don't know, I'm gonna try this first. Let's see what happens. All right, Johnny Quest. Quest, and I literally was over there where I showed you earlier, and I walked on this little embankment over here when you start the trail that's down here. And here I am, I'm literally, I walked up, and I wanna try to go around because it looks like there's a piece of still water on that side. I, I only saw one little fish in the water and it was really small. And I don't know, I wanted to capture this on video just in case, in case Johnny Quest disappears. This iPhone is, um, wow. I don't know, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen any, any fish in the water. Usually, you know, you'll see some fish in the water. I don't see any. I might go back to a, another spot that I've seen before and see if I could do something there, but I'm trying to see if I can get to the other side of this, like I said, and uh, in hopes that, oh yeah, I might be able to get there, maybe. Hopefully there ain't no animals here. My biggest fear is not any bears, honestly. It's uh, mountain lions. I don't know if there's any here. There was no sign warning that I saw about mountain lions. But like I said, you know, I don't know. And it looks like it's, see, that's where I want to reach, way over there, where it looks nice and calm. And I want to see if I can uh, make it over there. Hopefully I will. 
and that's why I'm pointing my phone in that direction. I'm on solid land now. So I don't know, but I'm about to find out if I can do it or not. God willing, I will. And, uh, and maybe catch some smallmouth. This is a Tongue River I'm in, by the way. And like I say, I don't know what the deal is here, but I've heard a uh, few people tell me about the Tongue River and uh, I've been here only one other time and I did catch some smallies. So this is a uh, second time that I'm doing this. And uh, you can see the river moving on that side over there really fast. So I don't know how, how far up I could actually walk here. But it looks like this usually gets filled here because it's dry. But it looks like it normally does get filled up. But I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how it happens or how it doesn't happen for that matter. Uh, so I don't know. I'm going to walk over here. Look around. That looks like a nice piece of flat area there. But you know what? I don't see a single fish eating and I see flies. But I don't see any fish eating. So uh, that being said, which is what I was actually looking at to see if I did see fish eating over here, and I don't. And I don't know if it's going to be a good place to fish. I only saw one little tiny fish when I was walking over here. So anyway, uh, I'm going to cast over here to my right. And I saw another little tiny fish right now on the water here on the low side. And I'm going to throw over there by those trees and stuff. See if there's anything around the edge there. Johnny Quest. Johnny Quest. And I, I, I want to show you guys. I already walked way over there. And uh, I found a couple of pools, but nothing. And I found shells earlier. And I said, wow, they must, it looks like there's like big clam-like looking shells out here. There is. I don't know if you can see it now. Because of me stepping in the freaking mud here see that right there that's a big shell just sitting there waiting to get eaten and i think there's otters over here and they break the shell and eat the inside but there's one right there and i'm kind of walking back literally on the stream because it was better to walk on the stream than up on the trail up there because the trail is like literally difficult to walk and i found little pools like this see this pool here and I thought there would be fish, but nothing. I didn't find anything at all, honestly. And uh, kind of walking back this way, because I got to walk around, get on that plane, and then walk up the trail again, back to the truck. But, uh, but literally, I mean, I thought there'd be something in those pockets, but not even trout, not even trout. So uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go to another spot that I've been to before where I've actually caught some small mouth. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that guy there. Look. Oh, let me get him out. You see him? Huh? Nice little crawdad, huh? There's a few here and uh, crustaceans and it looks like that's what uh, they'll eat here, but I don't know. Nothing's happening. So I don't know. Let's see how it goes. And uh, Johnny Quest on the move. Going back to the truck and I'm going to go hit that other spot again that I've hit before. And see what happens. And Johnny Quest and I didn't know there were frogs in Wyoming. How do they survive the cold? But there are. That's a froggy. <laughs> oh, and there she goes swimming away. And she of course ran back over there. Crazy. There's frogs in Wyoming. And <laughs> Johnny Quest still right here, Tongue River. And Johnny Quest and I caught my first little smallie. Right here in the Tongue River. <laughs> yeah, I knew they were going to be here. Uh, man, I broke off. I lost the lure. The train's coming. <laughs> and uh, But still, I got a smallie. So anyway, there he goes. Woo! <laughs> that was quick. Johnny Quest. I don't really complain about anything. Unless it's serious. Look, this is a 14 pound Berkeley Vanish. And the bass literally got into the rock. 
and it busted me and she was huge because this is on my big hook but i already know what she's eating i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'm gonna set her again man she was big and i messed it up though i should have like let her get tired and run around it was my bad and johnny quest <laughs> yo 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 here's another one i had to get in the water and i caught him on that right there but uh i still got the big one i lost feel bad about it not really <laughs> johnny quest next i think i'm gonna Try one more, and then I'm out of here. Tiny quest. Woo! <laughs> he went into the dark. In the dark. And Johnny Quest. And you know, I talked to a lot of natives here, and a lot of people actually, even people that like come here that are not natives. And I always ask about the bears because, I mean, the Wyoming Game and Fish is putting this up. Don't you think that you should be concerned? And yet they say that they've never seen a bear in the entire lifetime they've lived out here. Some of them have been out here 40 years, 50 years, and they've never seen a bear. So I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Should I be worried? Let me know in the comments. Johnny Quest, and you see the moose up there? <laughs> I'm looking through my car glass here and I saw this moose eating there and I just wanted to put that in the video, why not? I'm headed home, I caught my share of everything. Yes, those are the windshield wipers, but I still wanted to capture that moose there. Bye, moosey. All right, Johnny Quest on the moon. And Johnny Quest, and again, another thing I wanted to show you, this is on top of the mountain actually. And uh, Medicine Wheel, Medicine Mountain. And I am going to assume that the Medicine Wheel is that thing way up there because, I don't know, there's a little path leading right up to it. So I'm thinking that's what it is. It's uh, a wheel of rocks, I think. And they position it, I guess, in these uh, patterns here. But that's not the only thing that I see up here. <laughs> yeah. They probably saw the upperized um, rocks that are around here and thought that uh, that it might be like uh, uprisings from uh, volcanic activity from prior years. So that's what I think anyway. Why else would they be looking here? That's what it looks like. All the way around there's one lump here. And there's another lump way over there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. And there's more on the, all, all up in this road, all the way from that bottom side of the mountain where I was, way down out there, all the way up this way. And if I keep going, there, there'll be more. So, huh, medicine wheel, huh? Ain't that something? Uh, anyway, Johnny Quest on the move. These are one of the main reasons why I love this place. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Wyoming. One of the most incredible places on earth. Where God just came and decided to create pure art. You know, you see a lot of people show places outside of the country and all that. And look at how beautiful what you got right here. County Quest on the move. Johnny Quest, and didn't I tell you that God painted Wyoming? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Huh? You're going to tell me that there isn't any art in there. I am so sorry. Look, I even see a big body of water that way. Do you guys see that way out there? Way out there. Which is uh, kind of where I'm headed. <laughs> I'm headed that way. Isn't that amazing, huh? And this is the Bighorn Basin. Oh. Oh, I'll take you to the... So you can do a little read. And I'll leave it there. 
and uh, you can pause it and read it. But that's what this is. It's the Bighorn Basin right here. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, only God can do something like that. Man could uh, try. Oh, he wants to try to imitate, but he ain't going to make it. Not without Jesus. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Johnny Quest on the move. You know how we always saying God years, right? Read that, man. Six hundred million years of geologic history have shaped the area. Wow, six hundred million. That is a whole lot. That is beautiful. Absolutely. Johnny Quest on the moon. And Johnny Quest, and I just wanted to film that coyote. Woof, I don't know, I can't tell from this far away, even with my glasses. I'm going to try and zoom in to see if I could see a little bit better what he is, but you guys see him over there. He just stopped there and looked at me. See that? Uh, pretty cool, huh? Anyway, he's walking away, obviously, and uh, I know that anything in the Bighorn Mountain here, um, I believe that you can shoot, but I don't know. I don't know yet. Anyway, Daddy Quest on the move. And Johnny Quest, and uh, I guess that's the end of that, folks. <laughs> uh, nothing but dinks today over here, and I, I really missed a really big one. And but that's all right. That happens. You know, uh, it's not like I haven't caught big ones. <laughs> but anyway, hope you enjoy the video, folks. Uh, thank you for uh, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. You know, and uh, ring that bell so that you know when I uh, get notification when I post videos. All right, but remember, uh, most important, and what I tell everybody is uh, to share with friends and family. So for the moment, Johnny Quest out.